please do subscribe and encourage us to do more educational and studies related content click on bell icon to get alerts and updates if you go to playlist you can access various kinds of available and ssc related videos such as ssc 10th class syllabus model papers and explanation SERT thematic words word of the day learn a day word cbsc textbook trainings career guidance what can be done or which course can be opted after 10th class examinations more important is samagra siksha academic programs all these videos are available in the playlist as per the title of the content so dear viewers please do watch and get benefited now let's go to our actual topic as you all know that honorable commissioner of school education gave proceedings citing preparation guidelines for class 10 public examinations and it is emphasized that class 10 plays a critical role or important role in the life of a student serving as the first board examinations so we know that our students are facing the first board examinations so they generally and commonly face exam tensions various challenges worries and anxieties so to reduce or to mitigate or to, to decrease such kind of tensions, anxiety and worry, we need to make a proper plan and guidance for students to achieve success in the coming SSC examinations. So dear viewers, let's deal the steps one by one in the coming slides. The first do's and don'ts for SSC students title. The first one reads, work smart, don't work hard very important so all our students do tend to that by working hard they can easily get success but it doesn't matter nowadays so here kastapadi ekku kastapadakokunda istapadi kastapadali ela cheyali so let us define or expand the concept of hard work or smart work so here make relevant notes only whichever subject you are studying it may be mathematics english or physical science or biological science make only important notes relevant notes please do avoid unnecessary bazaar material guides at this juncture just focus on the important concepts and notes this includes smart work not hard work study goal here please understand this principle or formula uh, how can we define this study goal for example you are spending one hour on particular subject called mathematics so you solve problems step by step so panalu paadistu oka left hand side is equal to right hand side problem solve chestunnaru so that amount of time you spend and the intensity of focus matters a lot so ikkada concentration attention is important not the number of hours or number of minutes you spend on that particular subject so to achieve your study goal or subject goal you need to be qualitatively spending your time with plus focused concentration or attention. This is very important and it is nothing but working smart, not working hard. Now, another tip for working smart is take enough gap for each subject of study. So, if you spend for English 40 minutes, take 10 minutes of break. You move around, just do some exercise, do some energizer eat some snacks healthy food and then come back to your subject of study so taking gap relaxation at, uh, between two subjects is very important that also contributes to working smart now let's go to another point don't miss school any day so in this ssc top oriented program try not to skip your classes at any cost or at any rate you must maintain a cheerful attitude throughout the day so be active proactive so that you can be actively engaged in the learning process you should go to bed early and wake up early so as the saying goes an early bird catches the worm so once you go to bed early you can get enough sleep and to once you once you get enough sleep you will be happy peaceful and you can be focusing on the subject by waking up early so go to bed early and wake up early to be more productive in your subject or in your studies take plenty of liquids so in this summer season so summer season has commenced please stay hydrated by taking sufficient water or lemon juice avoid junk food so i have seen many students 
uh, no, uh, uh, taking junk food such as gobi manchuria, pani puri, uh, burgers, other stuff, non waste material. So, this kills your body uh, activeness. So, you can become lazy and automatically you don't get enough interest to study or to focus on your subject. Take nutritious food. Don't forget to take midday meal, boiled eggs and chickies, which are supplied by the school administration. Be sociable means be friendly with all your peers. Peers means your friends, classmates. Don't engage in any sort of conflict. So, although quarrel, chedam, argue, chedam, unnecessary, uh, bad, abusive language, chedam, you need to avoid. Stay away from electronic gadgets. So, this is very important. Cell phone connection, cable connection, and mobile addict. No more phobia. No mobile phobia. So, once you are away from phone, you get some anxiety. So, stay away from electronic gadgets, uh, phone, laptop, computer in, the, in this study hours or in this crucial days of SSC examinations. Don't watch horror movies. So, it doesn't mean that you can watch other movies. So, try to avoid watching. Uh, watch, watching movies on TV or on phone or uh, other uh, gadgets, so especially for 40 days. Try to utilize the maximum amount of daytime for studying. So here it is suggested that you spend on studies most of your daytime and nighttime you can study less and take rest for your mind and body. Try to meet successful people. So in your area or in your town or village, you may be having successful students who have passed out 10th class so meet them and get some advice or suggestions to follow play for at least one hour a day at least one hour you can do some yoga or play some game practice pranayama or yoga for 15 minutes have a sound sleep or at least seven hours a day so seven hours you spend in the school and seven hours is spent for sleeping remaining uh, hours like the 14 hours you are giving uh, us you are giving for us remaining days how many days are remaining how many hours are remaining so here 10 hours are left for your focus to study now let's go to academic instructions set short term goals so don't focus like getting 90 out of 100 and set some short term goals like you can say that you can attempt a slip test and it is for 20 20 marks and how many marks you can get by studying one day on that particular subject. So, set short term goals, subject specific or lesson specific or concept specific goals. Don't aim at uh, long like 100 marks question paper. So, this I can explain. Reading makes a ready man, writing makes a precise man and discussion makes an effective learner. So, this is actually taken from Francis Bacon, study of essays. The actual quotation reads, Reading maketh a full man, conference a ready man, and writing an exact man. So it was just rephrased in this way. Reading makes a ready man. So by reading a lot, we can become ready. By writing correctly, you can become precise, means very accurate and correct. And by discussion makes an effective learner. So here, discussion means you discuss with your friends, discuss with your teachers, and you become an effective learner. So read, discuss, and write is the strategy to succeed this is the first rule of success prepare a timetable on your own in which your weak subjects are allotted more time and strong subjects are allotted reasonably less time so here for example i mean for my for as far as i am concerned mathematics physical science and english are supposed to be uh, your weaker areas weaker subjects so dedicate or invest more time on those subjects and remaining subjects you can spend a little time so that you can quickly read, revise and recall. After reading for 50, 40 minutes, take some time to recollect, reflect and make scribble notes. So you make rough notes like journalism or journalist note, makes notes for reporting, rapid review of the topics. So like this, a lot of instructions have been issued for SSC students. Brainstorm means think and respond or write. Try to spend more time on revision, analyze model papers. So, dear viewers, we have all model papers in our educational channel. Here, if you go to playlist, you can go to SSC 10th class syllabus model papers. 
there are 37 video subject wise and concept wise important videos you can refer and just make notes so let me come back to the point so analyze the model papers with subject teachers slow learners should concentrate on the important scoring areas students should be made aware of six paper patterns so in this year we did not have seven papers even biological science and physical science has been clubbed as one paper uh, and the meaning six paper pattern be thorough with the syllabus of your subjects omissions and commissions so here deletions additions to the syllabus please be aware of that students must attend remedial classes students are advised to use diksha platform so if you are having phone and if you are really sure that you don't use mobile phone for other purposes non-educational activities you can refer to diksha videos of 10th class and get benefited focus may be given to key concepts so only focus on the important concepts important areas of testing uh, suggested by your respective teachers students are advised to practice formative and summative memorize important terminology chemistry equations mathematical formula in english you can focus on conversations biography diary letter writing information transfer and framing wh questions to get more marks in the examination combined study with peer groups so always prefer group work and group study for getting effective learning and these are the instructions to be followed during examinations so this smart we have discussed already please avoid watching we discussed it uh, students should play at least one hour a day we discussed and we have discussed these points too please have a look at it and re look at the points and please follow these instructions scrupulously and you can achieve success now students should on the day of examination reach examination center half an hour before the student students should take pens sketch pens thumb box boxes long scales along with you because no exchanging of material is allowed in the examination students should be settled down at their respective seats and check that all the printed particulars on their three printed omr sheet are correct so this we will give separately on the before the day of examination from the respective school students should sign on their omr sheet and fill up the necessary columns they should answer the most familiar questions first and move on so if you are familiar with important points or that you have learnt well and those questions have appeared in the examination please prefer them writing first and un uh, uh, irre irrelevant or or uh, unfamiliar or unknown questions you can attempt in the later part drawing margin using color pens except red red pen is not supposed to be used in the examination students should write in the right size of letters so neither big or not small overwriting and striking off should be avoided point wise presentation in answering the question should be adopted questions carrying four and eight marks should be given more time so please spend more time on four marks and eight marks questions and the answer should be neat and clean without any hurry to complete known answers proper concentration should be on the presentation of the known answers in the neat and legible handwriting so here there is a point or argument so if somebody is writing in cursive writing or normal writing doesn't matter the handwriting should be readable understandable by the examiner so focus on that don't say unnecessarily you more focus on cursive writing or your own fashionable writing the mathematical instrument box should not contain any subject related information on the surfaces and inside the box so ensure that you are not carrying any forbidden material inside the instruments that you carry in the examination hall so with this we conclude the video and before we conclude this the subjects two periods timetable suggested by scrt uh, starting from monday to saturday and this gets repeated on each day of the week so telugu it starts with telugu and ends with english so here on on each day we'll be having study hours and evening study hours so like this we can have a clarity so that we can focus on our examinations and studies happily so wish you all happy learning and before we conclude just let us recapitulate all the points have a look at it do's and don'ts for ssc students this is our educational and english updates channel go through the playlist and get benefited so this is the title of our slide ssc target oriented program 
model timetable. So with this, we conclude the video. We wish you all happy learning and keep learning. Thank you.